Hi Scorpio, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Scorpio, this is going to be one of their true intentions in love. Yes, it is. And uh, yeah, these are general reads, Scorpio. So check your moon, rising, and video. Uh, and your moon and your rising videos. Yeah, and let's get started here, you guys. And uh, the whole reading could be switched around, right? This is supposed to be your person's energy here, and this is yours on top. So let's get into it right now. I've already pulled your oracle cards, uh, Scorpio. You could be dealing with, you know, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn right here in your current energy is the Knight of Pentacles. So, you know, there's some type of, you know, major challenges in this reading. You could be missing somebody or they are. Because the card is here, the beloved and, or the beloved, you know, and the presence. The presence is about somebody's missing somebody's presence. And with the tiny, you know, golden nouveau here, we have uh, the wounded warrior who is, you know, wounded and worried about kind of what's going to transpire next. Uh, with the star card, maybe there are Aquarius, but this is a worry about, for me, it's a, a concern about somebody might be healing something or you might want to heal, you know, your situation with your person. Maybe they want to heal the situation with you. Somebody, it looks like they have somebody else in this reading because right away uh, with this oracle card is they have somebody. Yeah, and they think you don't care. Maybe you think they don't care or maybe you have somebody because the reading could be vice versa. And their life ambitions are key now. Maybe your life ambitions are key. Maybe that's your family. Maybe it's them. Uh, maybe it's a job because the workaholic card is here. Somebody could just be totally focusing on their work. And somebody may want forgiveness here. Yeah, and on some level, I don't know who, of course, who wants forgiveness. But it is, you know, uh, halfway important here. The Eight of Pentacles is in the past for you with the King of Cups. So here you are, Scorpio, showing up, you know, with your beautiful uh, kind of gold cup, gold chalice here, right? And... Uh, so, you know, you could be, like, right now, this could be saying that you are kind of, you know, kind of, in the past, you were kind of devoting yourself to this earth sign, possibly. Let's see what else we have. And the Knight of Wands showing up. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah, this is probably your person, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Uh, maybe this is, this could be their energy. They could have, you know, somebody took action here and was kind of, devoting themselves or putting making an effort this could be you you could have been you know kind of really putting in the work with your person but there's a lot of challenging cards in this reading yeah there is your challenge here i feel like you are worried right away scorpio so you either want to return to somebody here in the past or your person does mm -hmm. It's possible you're married to this person with this Ten of Cups here or in a marriage type situation and the Ten of Pentacles here. So you want your union, Ten of Pentacles. You want this union. You have the World card as a challenge. So uh, like you're either returning to somebody here that you want to make it work with or they are returning to somebody Eight of Cups reversed. And the world card is here, like a chapter is coming to an end and a new journey is beginning with the death card as well in the challenge. I feel like you are worried here that your, your relationship's going to end or your person is. Take it how it, you know, resonates. What you want, you want a passionate new beginning with this person. Five of Pentacles reverse. You want them to let you back in. Yeah, you feel left out by this person. I feel like that's it. You could be hoping they're going to let you in here. You're fearing the five of wands, like an ending or a turning point. This is, you know, challenges. This can be competition. The five of cups with it. Yeah, you're fearing an ending here. You're fearing emotional loss. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are ready to give this person forgiveness here. Like, and take them back. Somebody thinks somebody doesn't care here. And somebody, as I said, has somebody. Especially next to the presence card. So let's get another deck to kind of keep this kind of flowy. And the 
Emperor is here in the recent past with the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Mm -hmm. This is their energy. It looks, like, it looks like they had a wish here in the recent past. A wish that they like either started something with or you know, maybe they were wishing for a new beginning with somebody. The Emperor is here. I feel like they had the will and the determination. I feel like they took control here. That's what the Emperor does, unless they are Aries. And that could, you know, maybe be a game changer on some level. They have the Five of Swords. They're in despair here. And the Hierophant. They look like they are defeating their marriage here. Because you look like you want your marriage here. Ten of Pentacles. Or this union. Marriage type union. And they have the Ten of Pentacles here. So they look like, with the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles, this does look like a marriage. They look like they are defeating their union. Their challenge is the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So again, the Ten of Cups is like a marriage or a union card. Yeah, this is, uh, for a lot of you guys, a marriage. This person is Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, most likely. We have the Knight twice and the Queen. And then in their desire is the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Swords reversed. They want to release themselves from some type of like kind of nagging energy that they feel kind of like where they don't have control, where they had fear. They are, this is, they're releasing themselves from that. They're discerning a matter here. Maybe it's about you releasing yourself. So your person is in this kind of uh, all in their mind here about something here. The lovers, it's about a choice. Your person, I feel like, is making a choice and they're releasing the fear about it. Eight of Swords reversed. And what they are fearing or doubting is the Eight of Four of Pentacles. I don't know why I said Eight here, but maybe the Eight of Swords, King of Swords. Uh, they're fearing here that this decision, they're making the decision, and they are like telling themselves, uh, like, I want to make this choice, and I kind of don't want to worry about it. But in their fear, uh, they're afraid they're not going to be able to hold on to somebody. I feel like that uh, Four of Pentacles holding on is about a decision they have made, King of Swords. To hold on to somebody. So they're making the decision, but they're afraid it's not going to work. This is kind of how this looks. Two of Wands. So they are fearing some type of uh, crossroads about this decision. Yeah, we're going to end the reading there, Scorpio. We're going to go over to the extended. This reading for me is pretty clear. It still could be switched, right? But we're going to get the low down on them. And kind of give you the high five on them. Yeah, or yeah. We're going to look at the underlying energies, how they feel, Scorpio. How they are seeing this situation. What's most important to them? What they hide? Actions are going to take and their true intentions. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And they're all super affordable. Thanks so much, guys.